Hi, this is Vic. Welcome to another episode of The Armourer's Bench. What do we have here? Well, it's another one of my uh, favourites, uh, an Israeli military industries uh, developed Uzi or micro Uzi submachine gun. This is a direct development of the Uzi itself. The Uzi family was the standard Uzi submachine gun, then in models A and B. Then there was a semi-automatic carbine version for the US and worldwide market. They used to be able to sell it in the UK, but not anymore. Uh, then there was a, a, a mini Uzi, a shrunken, probably two thirds size variant of the Uzi itself, very handy. Um, used and preferred by the uh, US um, presidential uh, security services. Um, famously, when Ronald Reagan was shot, they were armed with Uzis and mini Uzis. Uh, that was also available as a semi-automatic uh, carbine or an SBR in the US and uh, also as a pistol without the buttstock. Then came the small version, the uh, Uzi pistol. Uh, again, this is a derivative of the Uzi pistol. The Uzi pistol would not have this stock on it and it also wouldn't be select fire, sweet. Okay, but this is also uh, strange in a way that it fires semi and fully automatic from a closed bolt, which would make it inherently more uh, accurate um, and not necessarily more controllable. This one's fitted with a uh, 25 round magazine. Um, uh, 30 standard 32s are available and of course there was a drum uh, 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 rotary magazine which is still available I think on the market um, it's fitted with sling swivels here on the front side um, and underneath here on the hinge point for the stock stock can be folded like this and in this position the typical way will be you'd use it as a forward hand grip and put the thumb up the side of the receiver uh, not on the barrel as I've seen some people do because that gets quite hot um, it's quite controllable. I've used it in this uh, mode before. The uh, pistol grip is a lightly modified standard Uzi um, pistol grip. It has forward and uh, rear extensions and a slightly different trigger guard um, than a standard Uzi, but uh, it would be interchangeable, I think. Um, what we'll do is we'll have a look at this and strip it down so you guys can see inside. The bolt is obviously smaller than a standard Uzi, um, but the mechanism is Uzi in itself. Okay, to strip it, first of all, put stock, which makes it easier for me to handle it. Remove the magazine and check that it's clear, which it is. Notice the bolt goes forward, it doesn't fire from an open bolt. Let the firing pin go forward. And to strip it, it's much the same as a standard Uzi. Pull back on the uh, upper cover release catch here, which is just in front of the rear sight, and lift the charging handle up. Take the bolt out, we put our finger in here, pull the bolt slightly back and up, and lift it out in one piece. This is, like I say, different from an SMG which would only have the recoil spring and guide. On the semi and this select fire version there's an extra guide rod and a, a slightly smaller spring which is the firing pin um, a driving spring. If we take that out, put it down, and take the firing pin and guide and its sear out of the rear of the bolt. A standard semi-automatic uh, bolt, but the uh, mechanism is obviously uh, adapted for fully automatic fire, mainly in the trigger pack. We can take the barrel off by unscrewing the uh, barrel nut, pressing it on the detent to release it. A few turns and then that detent comes away, barrel nut off, and the barrel out. It's about a five inch barrel. That would be typically as far as you need to strip it. The um, 
Pistol grip is standard Uzi. We have the grip safety here, an essential safety item. Uh, we have A, R, and S selector. All the way to the rear is safe. First position R, which is repetition or single shot. And, and then the next position forward would be fully automatic, A. On this particular gun, it has a screw in there which uh, limits the travel, so it's only set for semi-automatic fire. Okay, putting it back together. Take the bolt, firing pin assembly back in, recoil assembly spring and firing pin spring. Take the housing, put the rear of the buffer and firing pin assembly in, pull the bolt to the rear and drop it down into the action. You can put it back together with the bolt barrel in or not. Put the barrel in, rotate it until it locks into its detent barrel nut. Until it locks, you can rotate it against its ratchet because we're going with it, not against it. Top cover, front in first, and down, click it in. The um, cocking piece is like twin ears. Pull the trigger and fire. A rather good personal defense weapon, I think. Um, not sure if it's still in production, Not certainly not in this format. I think there is a polymer frame version out there. But uh, a neat personal defense weapon that was uh, came out in the 80s and used up until fairly recently, I think. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's bring you some more unique and uh, interesting firearms. This is Vic. Please like, share and subscribe. See you later.